We can start market talk for February 11th, 2024. So looking at S&P index seasonality, we're looking for a really strong run in February towards a February sell-off. I'm gonna start looking to see if that sell-off is gonna come when we start getting towards maybe mid-month. Looking at the economic calendar for this week, we know this week is when we get core CPI. So that's coming out on Tuesday. Looking for whether or not CPI is gonna be in line or weaker than expected. I don't necessarily think the number is gonna be higher, but let's kind of see how it goes. Thursday, we're gonna get more jobless claims. We're gonna get some manufacturing surveys. Fridays, we're definitely gonna get housing starts and then we're gonna get PPI. So this is gonna be a good week for data drops. However, in my opinion, unless the numbers are really, really out of line, I don't think it's gonna impact how the Fed's gonna move in March. Now looking at earnings for this week, really, really robust earnings week because we're right in the middle of the really the strongest part of earnings. Monday, I'm gonna be looking at Avis after close. Hertz earnings was really not that good, but also gonna be looking at monday.com before Monday, which is kind of a weird coincidence. Tuesday, you know, the who's who's list, Shopify, Datadog, Coca-Cola, Biogen, Marriott, Hasbro, after close, Airbnb. Airbnb still has a company, even though everybody on YouTube, the real estate crash guy said they were gonna be gone. However, they still have their company, right? Looking at Upstart, Robinhood, Lyft, Wednesday before open, definitely gonna be looking at Barrett Gold, Generic, been looking at them for a very, very long time. Also forgot about Tuesday after close, Instacart. Wednesday after close, Twilio, Cisco, App Loving, Fastly. A lot of really good tech reportings after close on Wednesday. Thursday, Crocs, Consumer Discretionary. Definitely gonna be looking at John Deere because I'm a person that I watch Cat, so John Deere and Cat sometimes have a correlation. Thursday after close, DraftKings. Everybody's been talking about online gambling, how gambling's gonna be the new wave. Coinbase, Roku, Trade Desk, Open Door. So there's a lot of really, really robust earnings for this week, but I'm definitely gonna be looking at Monday, Avis, Airbnb, Shopify. I know what Coca-Cola is gonna do. I kinda know what Kraft Heinz is gonna do and definitely gonna be looking at Crocs. Now going to the charts, looking at the spot. We talked about this before, we're gonna keep saying it again. We're in a very, very much a bullish pattern. We're at all time highs for the spy in the history of the stock market. So the all time highs for the history of this ETF, but the market is at the all time highs in the history of the market. If you zoom out on a max view, let's see, can we get it? We see it, right? So we're at all time highs. It just keeps going up, keeps going up, keeps going up. Okay. I'm still bullish on the year. Even if we have some bearish activity in the middle, I think that we're probably headed towards 600. I was looking at 560 calls last year. I probably should have got them. It's kind of a little too late for that right now. Looking at the queues, same thing. We're on a really strong bullish run. Again, I think we're going to end this year. Probably we're at 437 now, probably closer to 500, right? And again, even if we have some bearish selling, unless something really, really dramatic happens, I don't see the market selling off. I think we're getting ready to go into a really, really strong bull run until something happens that can kind of get people to be negative about the market. But right now, I think everybody's positive about the market and I don't think that people wanna have a negative market going into an election year. So what I'm gonna do this week is look at some of these earnings, make sure I manage my risk, make sure that I have an understanding of what I'm trading and put myself in the best position to be successful. Hope you got some value from it. Talk to you later.